पाच टाइम All right, hi everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a very lovely uh, Monday. Uh, I hope you're having a good start to the week. Um, welcome. If you notice, uh, I am not as blurry as I used to be. And that is simply because um, I was working on another project where my PND Tuber avatar was coming out kind of blurry. And I was like, that's super weird. Why is it coming out that blurry? Like, I know it's a little blurry sometimes, but the 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 image that I'm using is not that blurry. What's the issue? It's that um, I the window that that uh, Vieta to Mini, the, the the software that I use to do my PNG tuber, it opens kind of small. And I Googled it and like in two seconds, someone on Reddit is like, it's because the window is small, it's full screen the window, and then you'll have a clear image so anyway um i'm no longer fuzzy anymore <laughs> only took me i don't know about a year to figure that out listen okay there's a lot of things there's a lot of things to figure out when it comes to streaming there's a lot of moving parts um so anyway that's just kind of the vibe of today is a i'm in sharp relief now versus uh versus being all blurry so um I hope you all are having a good day i've had an excellent day i am working on a lot of projects right now and I had a couple in particular that um, have been kind of tough to work on. Like, they've just been hard. There's been a lot of, like, really technical stuff that I've had to be, like, learning to do and stuff like that. Um, and uh, they, like, I kind of did a really big thing today um, and managed to succeed at a project I've been working on for a while uh, and, like, an aspect of the project. Um, so I'm kind of proud of myself that that I did really good on that. So. <laughs> I've been working hard, so, and I know I keep saying that stuff is, is coming, but it really genuinely is. I'm in, like, the final stages of, like, eight different projects right now, um, so you all will see a lot of that uh, very soon. You all, who am I? It's y'all. I'm Southern. <laughs> it's y'all. Y'all will see that very soon, um, so that's kind of that's kind of the vibe, but anyway, hope you all are having a great day. Um, let us play some Supermarket Simulator. Uh, let me just... Let me just, now it's going to do that for a second because it gets weird. Let me <laughs> swap my music over really fast. Hold on. Where the heck? I feel like Spotify updated the other day and it just kind of, um, like, I don't know, moved stuff around somehow. Okay. Let me just give me a second. We're going to, and then you're going to go up to here. Okay, good. All right. Just getting my simulator music up. Give me one moment. Okay, good. And then let me make sure before we really get into this that the windows up because i was literally like fixing stuff on the fly hold on is it playing 
is it playing? I think it's just a bit quiet. The, the, um, the, there it is. Yeah, yeah there we go. Um, the, uh, the, the house flipper music can be kind of quiet sometimes when you first get started. So, okay. And then hold on. I'm sorry. Let me move. <laughs> I, I, I usually try to get the stream scuff, my game capture moved out of the way, um, before stream. But, um, since, uh, I, uh, uh I had to fix my PNG tuber before stream. I had a little bit of a harder time. Okay, welcome everybody. So uh, tonight, um, we, so last week, last time we, we streamed this, um, we had just gotten a bunch of store upgrades, but um, I believe it was uh, um, Sai, uh, I, I believe it was, um, who uh, let us know that it's probably a better idea for us to stop buying product licenses and start saving a little bit um, because if we keep buying product licenses without another cashier we might get really overwhelmed um, since we only have just good old Jeb right now um, that is that is all we have um, so I moved this and I regret it immediately because it's off kilter now I hate everything. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, tonight's job is to um, get to sort of level 20 so we can get our next cashier. And uh, we um, can pay off the dawn. Hi, Silver, how are you doing? How was Amy weekend? Did you win? Paley Coral get put to the side. The Amy market bought you out. Yeah, so uh, right now uh, it's actually Palea that bought me out. Um, we're gonna be playing more Palea on Wednesday. I just, I don't know. I kind of liked playing Supermarket on Monday last week. Um, so I'm doing it again this week. So we'll get back to Coral Island uh, eventually. Um, but Palea, Palea is our, our, our thing right now. Um, so, but yes, I did have a very good weekend. Thank you very much for asking. If you uh, will notice, um, I am less blurry <laughs> than I used to be because I was working on some other videos today, um, and I realized that my PNG tuber looked awfully blurry, and I couldn't figure out why. And when I researched it for two seconds, they were like, "It's because the window that you have the software open in is small, and if you full screen it, it is less blurry." And they were right, and I am <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, anyway, um, have you been doing anything good this weekend, a garden adventure? Uh, so no garden adventure this weekend, um, just because, um, it's keeps raining. It just, it, we're, right now I think we're in sort of the summer thunderstorms vibe where we are just getting like random summer thunderstorms all the time, which is totally fine. Um, but we, uh, you know, did we, sorry, I'm looking at this. Did we restock last week? I think we might have restocked before stream is over. So I think we might just be able to get started, which will be fun. Maybe we can just like hang out and talk as we're checking out and stuff. Um, okay, here, open, open, yes. Um, so yeah, it keeps raining, um, which is just the biggest reason why I haven't, like we're in that, Georgia gets a lot of summer thunderstorms where it's kind of like um, just thunderstorms in the afternoons kind of on and off. So it's been a little bit difficult to, um, uh, uh, get out to the gardens i'm going to eventually whenever I have a little bit more time but i've just been kind of like hectic running back and forth and stuff also since you know um my employment situations changed i'm trying to cook a lot more at home now so i've been spending a lot more time like meal planning and like food prepping and stuff like that so oh it's burning up around low to mid 80s dang see we're having kind of a cool start to summer this year i feel like like georgia typically gets um i mean pre-2020 georgia tended to get into like the 90s by the time it was late may um and then um it, but like june and july would be like like low 90s hundred low hundreds <laughs> um but lately the past couple years ever since covid frankly um it's been kind of weird we've had kind of cool mays like our may has been like like it's still only 85 here and normally by june it's going to be at least 90 um so I'm just, I'm sorry it's hot where you are because I know that's not what you guys are used to. We, so we still are getting Chick-fil-A, um, but we only get fast food once a week <laughs> versus having it um, multiple times a week. That's kind of the vibe now, but I'm feeling empowered. We got a rice cooker, like one of the little rice cookers, um, and I'm going to be like making a lot more meals at home and stuff. So I'm feeling empowered to uh, try more recipes and stuff like that. Uh, fish tonight. Tonight is fish. Tonight is fish, and then I think tomorrow night on the off nights I'm not streaming, we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. Cause that's a good, we'll have like eggs, scrambled eggs and like waffles. Um, and like, uh, uh, um, oh my God, sausages. <laughs> like, like, uh, like maple sausages and stuff and put, we of course cover them in maple sugar or maple syrup. Cause like, 
What else are you going to do? Domesticated Amy cooking. Listen, I'm already, I'm very much a homebody by nature. Like I like having a nice house. I think maybe because my mom's house, like my parents' house was dirty all of the time. So I think I like, I like having a clean house, whether or not I have the time or the energy to is typically the question. So I am thriving. <laughs> so that's kind of the vibe. So, um, you want 65. Oh, ick. Somebody made me do a weird, you know, I didn't check. I don't think I checked the product changes and I should probably do that. Is, did anybody go up or down? I didn't get a signal when we came in. Yeah, it looks like there's no up or down. So um, we're good on that front. So yeah, no no gardens yet, but I've been working really hard at a bunch of like projects and stuff for the channel. So, um, which I know I keep saying, but they I basically have like four different projects that are like 90% done. <laughs> so we're almost there. <laughs> um, I'm kind of trying to get prepared for the channel anniversary. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm working on so far. So um, here we go. We got, yeah, zero cents, good. Um, so tonight's goal in um, supermarket is that the Don wants his money. And so we have to uh, make a little bit more of a profit than we have been so far to make sure to pay off the protection uh, demands, which just translates to the fact that um, we need to hit store level 20 tonight so that we can get another cashier. <laughs> um, we can't really expand a ton more until we do that because it gets too overwhelming otherwise. Um, like the stalkers can't keep up. And so I'll have to help stalk myself. Um, so that's kind of the vibe. You didn't fire me yet. I'll work harder, I swear. Of course I didn't fire you. You're working excellently. Sometimes you have a little bit of trouble keeping up, but I don't blame you because there's so many dang... We got so much stuff on the shelves now. It's really difficult to, to handle. Um, I feel like eventually we might even have to move to where we have like a whole shelf for each item. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out like how big they let the store get, if that makes sense. Like how big... How much are we allowed to expand and how many products can we get? I mean, the absolute number of them that we can get is actually kind of unholy. If you look at the, I need to pay bills anyway. Nope, never mind. I don't need to pay bills. If you look at the um, licenses, look at how many. The final license is like $65,000. For a whole bunch of whiskey. <laughs> so, like, that's going to get exciting. <laughs> so, we're going to see how that goes when we get around to it. But, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's kind of the goal tonight is we have to pay the dawn off. Um, and so, we got to make sure we have a little bit more of a backlog for everybody's protection. So, we got to get to store level 20 tonight so we get our next cashier and, and get going. So, alcohol licenses are expensive, at least where you're at. I can imagine. I don't actually know anything about, like, running real grocery stores. <laughs> The most I know is the stuff I've looked up about like all these and Trader Joe's and stuff and that's about it and like white labeling. So I have no idea how much it actually costs to have a small business license. Although I guess that's something I'm gonna be learning sooner rather than later. Um, oh, it's five here, let me. Not having as big of a rush of people tonight as we were before, but maybe it just doesn't feel that way because I made the store so big. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think from what I heard, getting a small business license in Georgia is like only like 250, 300 bucks. So it's not terrible, but I'll have to, oh, we do need to order more um, lights. Just at least a couple more, I think, because we're kind of, we need <laughs> to be able to see. <laughs> um, two spotlights purchased. Jeb, you're doing great. You're doing fantastic, Jeb. We also, the lines can get so much longer now that I have so much more room in the stores. So that's also gonna help a lot of things too. I've kind of given up on making these lights even. I feel like, you know, I say that and now I like really feel like I need to. Um, you need to be moved up here, I think, right? Oh God, maybe like a little bit over, like right here. Okay, good enough. I'll get back on the register. <laughs> Our alcohol permits, there's a limited number of them, so they get auctioned off. I didn't know that. That's interesting. That, like, there's a limited number of them. I mean, different states probably have different rules. I know in Georgia, I believe in Georgia, you can't sell alcohol on Sundays. But I also remember there was some hullabaloo over, like, overturning that. So I don't remember if that actually happened or not. But I do remember someone talking about that at one point. I think counties also can have their own particular rules, too, but... I think the state in general. Yeah, every state is different. No, I figured. Every state is different with their taxes, with their licenses. It's always a different, different vibe. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your business. I'm going to have to hunt down whichever product I have like a 10 cent on there. I think I did it because 
people were complaining about um, it being 20 cent over, which I'm like, that they're not supposed to. And it was making me mad. Got to sell cannabis at the Amy market expand. Listen, this is a family friendly business. <laughs> it's family friendly. <laughs> I, listen, if I wanted to sell weed, I'd be playing the weed shop simulator. There is a weed shop simulator. Look at that, Silver. You're keeping up with everything really well, actually. Look at how, like, stocked the shelves are and stuff. You're doing a good job. My employees are everything. <laughs> and it's already nine. Wow. At this point, me being on the register is honestly more just to, um... I need to do my own, um, checkouts to get future cashiers. Uh, let's see. Management, hiring... Yeah, I have to do 900 checkouts myself in order to be able to get um, the third cashier. So that's something that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. Actually, Jeb, while you're finishing those, let me see if I can help Silver real quick. And <laughs> we can, um, let's see, where's that cereal? We do have that cereal, good. Um, I'll help Silver, I'll help you, <laughs> Silver, I'll help you uh, unload. Oh, he already had, we were already on it. Man, we're on it at the exact same time. Here, I'll put it back. Where did it go? It went there. Um, I do have chocolate pick. Good. When is the one year anniversary getting close to Philly? Yes, I am. Um, so the one year anniversary is June 19th. Um, so that is a uh, Juneteenth. Hilariously, actually. Um, that is not, it's, th it's three Wednesdays from now counting this Wednesday. <laughs> um, so it's like, it's like, two full weeks and then one partial week um, from today. So I am getting very close to Philly. I have obviously the follower numbers at this point. Um, at this point, it is literally just getting the watch uh, average um, to three people. Like the the average. I'm at like 2.7 right now. Um, so it kind of depends on, on, on view average and stuff. But what was expensive? I swear to God, these people are so picky. Oh God. All right, we have a lot of... Hold on, Jeb. Let me... I got to do my thing. <laughs> Um, it's, let's see, flour, flour and rice is the ones that change, regular flour. Um, but yeah, we're just, all we need is, ugh, that's, that's low. Um, flour and then rice. Um, yeah, all we need is just the view, uh, numbers and that's it. So, um, we are getting quite close. I feel like it's just only a matter of time at this point. So, um, I'm very excited <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, and then we have apple juice and cake was the other ones. So, and I'm also excited too. I'm just, in, I'm enjoying a lot of the games we're playing right now. If I'm being like, I'll do 250 fine. That makes me mad, but it's fine. Um, uh, like I'm enjoying a lot of the games we're playing right now. I'm having a very good time with them. So 25. Okay. Y'all better not get mad at, at, at anything. Cause that's just like annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. I think they get mad if it's within like a 20 cent difference of the market price, but I'm like, listen, it's a little quarter store, man. We got to do what we got to do sometimes. Um, all right. It's time for a restock. I can't stick this up there. Can I dang it? That's fine. Let's get more. We won't. We need more chocolate pick cereal. I'll probably get another milk cereal. So once we have enough money, we're gonna. Or once we get our next cashier, sort of an order of business. When we get our next cashier, I'm going to expand the storage again, just so that we have more space. Um, and I am going to move this guy, uh, my little computer, into the storage room, um, just so that we. Um, can not have to run back and forth like this because running back and forth kind of sucks. Um, so, and then we're going to start expanding and getting more licenses and stuff like that. But that's kind of, that's my plan so far anyway. And then I probably will have to spend a lot of time stocking just because I know it's going to get really crazy. So, um, okay. We need, what am I doing? We did cereal. I need a water and I need a milk. <clears throat> I can't believe we've invented this like entire cheese mafia <laughs> last week <laughs> talking about the dawn and the dawn checking up on us. <laughs> so um, I'm enjoying the lore that we're creating with supermarket. <laughs> so it's, it's a good time for sure. But how's your weekend silver? I hope it was going well. I hope everything's been chill. I know you said you're working on a big project. Yeah. I know you probably can't talk about the project, but I hope that's going well for you seems to just be kind of seems like a lot of people are busy lately that just seems to be sort of the universal vibe is everyone's kind of working hard on stuff right now 
Um, okay, we got that. We have enough eggs, I think. Um, we got the cheese. We have enough eggs. Uh, we're gonna need... We got enough rice. That's that's not a problem. Maybe get another thing of peanut butter. Another thing of peanut butter and another thing of Zap, I think. It's really funny that this soda is called Zap Soda because I used to work at a dog kennel and we used to use Zep, which is a cleaning product. So whenever I see Zap, my brain thinks it says Zep, which I'm like, that's not drinkable. Humans should not be drinking that. Um, so, you know. It's just personal. Uh, yeah, garage was going well. It's very nice. Got to finish the stairs. I'll be like, oh, it's oh, it's the garage. I was under the impression it was a, a work. For some reason, I, my brain assumed that it was a work project, and that's what I was <laughs> was thinking. But gotcha, it's the garage that you're working on it, and then the the stairs as well. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Was all that painting not too terribly <laughs> frustrating? Because I know you had to paint a lot of a lot a lot of um uh like sticks of wood, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, spaghetti goes here. And then cheese we have. And then peanut butter. Yeah, one of our, our latest neighborhood drama, I guess, is that um, I think a gentleman down the road, whom I have not seen much of before. Oh, wow, Silver, you're kind of got a lot going on you're refilling you're restocking things that you were not restocking last night which is kind of funny um what are you oh that is the bread i guess interesting um <laughs> um the gentleman down the street um i believe is keeping potentially his children over the summer um at least he seems to be coming to the house in the afternoons as it were um and so which is fine in concept but in practice it means that we have a bevy of like five or six kids running up and down the sidewalk all day, screaming at the top of their lungs and like riding scooters in the middle of like the street and stuff. And like, it's not the fact that it's kids. It's the fact that it's brood kids. Um, and also like, they're just getting under everybody's feet. And like, it's also wild because they don't seem to have any sense of like, decorum when it comes to people's houses because they keep like running up to the front doors of the apartments and like staring at them and like looking about they're thinking about like knocking on them and stuff like kind of eyeing them up and I'm like that's not great <laughs> so that's been kind of our frustration you need 16 more it wasn't fun there was 138 foot six oh my god stain them three times and stain them you still need 16 more you're gonna restock everything i'll work hard just let me see my family i'll restock everything just let me see my family i haven't seen them in eight months i haven't either either it's all the dawn's fault uh maybe i should get another egg um okay it was flour it was the blue flour that we needed it's all the Don's fault. He's knocking down our doors. He's demanding that we... Uh, do I already have flour in here? Yes, I do. Never mind. Um, he's knocking down our doors. He's demanding that we give him payment. So we have to give him payment. <laughs> um, I haven't seen my family either. Uh, here we go. We're going to do these. And then... What are we still missing? The restocks honestly take, like, this is the longest part of the whole dang game, is sitting here having to restock everything. I will really appreciate, I know they said that at some point they're working on making sure that you can see how many of each item you have in storage from the computer, and that will change everything. Because right now, I'm spending all of my time running back and forth trying to get everything restocked. So, or like, I'll be able to restock maybe a little bit more on the go in the future too once we have everything moved into the storage room. So um, we need another regular cola and I think we're done. That's just regular, right? It's not Turco? No, it is Turco, okay. I almost, I almost forgot that, what's that? That's what happens whenever I leave the computer while the window's still open. It thinks I'm typing and searching for a product named that, which is funny. Okay, milk. Oh God, okay. Um, man, I can imagine how the more product licenses you expand to, the longer this takes, which will be wild. Okay, Jeb, we're almost done. I know he's just been sitting there waiting patiently, like the hard worker that he is. 
And Silver, you're working your butt off trying to take everything to the shelves, so. Okay, eggs. Eggs. And then flour. Flour. Did the devs say when the next big update to this game will be? Uh, no, they have not. I know their last update to the game, I believe, was April 1st. They've basically said they're working on it and they haven't provided a lot more information since. I am in the Discord for the game. I got, did I not buy Turco? Oh, maybe you brought, you you took it. Yeah, you did take it, okay, cool. Um, yeah, they, um, here, open. Oh, we're store level 19 though, which is really good. We should be able to hit store level 20 soon, actually, which is which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I, from, I am in their Discord. From what I can tell, the last update was April 1st. So, um, you know, it's like about two months after that. Um, so we'll see, basically. They don't seem to be giving any time. They've, they've given like a laundry list of what they want to do, but they haven't given any like time frames, if that makes sense. So that kind of seems to be um, the vibe. But I think they're overwhelmed. I, I know a lot of simulator games that do this kind of thing will often like not be prepared for the success that they find. Um, and so sometimes it's like they get kind of overwhelmed trying to um, keep up. And then it's 10 cents. Good. Okay. Math. I hate it. Um... One, two, three, seventy-five. That's uh there goes um oh my god. My brain's trying to say Johnny Bravo, and that is absolutely Jimmy Neutron. There we go. Jimmy Neutron frequenting our store. Not super not a surprise hole in a wall idea that took off. Yeah, that kind of seems to be the struggle for simulator games, because I just they're a genre that I really love. Um it seems like simulator games are either they have a smashing success out the front out the gate and they're kind of get really overwhelmed really quickly because they are like having a hard time keeping up with demand or alternatively they don't start out super popular and then they be kind of become a cult classic over time that starts to build and build and build until suddenly everyone's playing it that kind of seems to be the way the simulator games hit also i think despite like the popularity of simulator games sometimes i don't think people like they're not usually in people's circulation repertoire like all of the time. <laughs> um, like people will play them. Like I know a ton of streamers. Ugh. Why do you do this? This is so rude. $46, break a 50. Um, but uh, uh, I know a lot of like streamers that played Supermarket Simulator for like two streams and because it was popular and then just don't play it for the rest of the time. Um, so I think it's also people kind of like so simulator games popularities come and go if that makes sense and like oh taylor swift she's here you've arrived she's arrived she's alive um what will you do when the amy show takes off and you're at 5k followers and chat demands steady amy content listen i'm working on content i'm telling you it's it's i keep saying it's coming and i do not i know as a viewer how annoying that is to hear <laughs> i don't mean to bait y'all but like i mean honestly Genuinely, I do have more plans for when things get bigger. I would like to play games with chat more um, once I have a little bit of a bigger audience to do that with. Um, I love Animal Crossing, and I think one of the favorite, my favorite parts of Animal Crossing streaming is when people go and review people's islands. So like doing island tours. Um, so I know a lot of streamers who will basically like, um, you know, use the online feature and go and tour their viewers' islands. I think that's so cool. I love looking at people's creativity because some people make some like crazy stuff out there. Um, so that's the kind of thing that I'd love to do. Or like um, some of the simulator games that I love are more interactive. So like a farming simulator, um, you can do uh, essentially servers where you can have like up to 12 players or whatever. Um, so I would love to have a farm with chat. I think that would be like a ton of fun <laughs> to have a farm with chat and kind of like assign chat different roles in the farm. And so that like, like people who own the game can come and play, uh, with me and stuff on stream. I think that would be a ton of fun. So that's kind of some of the stuff that I would love to do is do more like stuff with chat, if that makes sense. So that's kind of my my plans anyway also like wild dreams i guess but i would love to play genshin and like actually spend money on genshin <laughs> with chat <laughs> like be kind of a whale account and like try to get a lot of the characters and stuff i think that would be a ton of fun too wishing and stuff like that so i have ideas do you have your emotes prepared i don't 
thank you for reminding me. I've been so busy trying to get prepped for the anniversary that I haven't, I don't have emotes prepped yet. I will be honest in the fact that right now I can't do a lot of custom stuff. Um, unfortunately, just because like I am not making a lot of money right now, but I am going to make sure that we do have some emotes prepared um, for whenever uh, uh, we do go affiliate. Um, so we just got to get there, but I, I am going to work on that. So I'm not going to make them. I will probably get just a cute um, pre-made pack for now. Um, and then once I'm in the place to do uh, more commissions, um, I will absolutely commission some custom ones. So, um, but I got to think of like good theming for emotes. Cause I know emotes are often like, you know, inside jokes on the channels and stuff like that. So we gotta, we gotta come up with some good, maybe a jab emote or something that might be kind of good. <laughs> so you'll donate for a few emotes. I'd appreciate that if you did. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's fine. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, no, I'd love to commission some people for some emotes. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, um, right now I'm having to do a lot of things custom, find an artist and let me know how much. Okay, cool. I will. Um, let me see here. Let me 86, 75, or I can ask some streamers and I watch where they go. Yeah. If you have some, um, if you have some recommendations, I would absolutely love to take them. Cause I feel like that's something I don't hear streamers talk about very often, you know, well, like they either, they really do, or they really don't, if that makes sense. And I'd be looking for someone who would be sort of mid priced, if that makes sense. <laughs> I wouldn't be looking like, I, I would love to commission some like huge emotes or like, like really well done emotes in the future. But, um, right now, obviously I'm on a bit of a budget at least in the beginning. But if you have any recommendations, I would absolutely love to hear them because inside insider knowledge is always appreciated. These people trying to do this. There we go. Cool. Um, so. Hi. Oh, yes, 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 Sand Ninja. I am absolutely making money for the Dawn. It's very important. I understand. We got to make sure the Dawn gets his payments. Look, we're almost to our level 20. We've been making a lot of money for the done. We've got 2K right now. We'll make sure we get those fees in on time. I promise. <laughs> we might do a dawn emote as well, <laughs> of like, our, like a gangster rat or something. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing good today too. <laughs> hope you're having a good start to your week and everything. We are currently trying to get to store level 20, which we're actually almost there, uh, so we can get our next cashier. Um, so we have to get the next in line of legends. That's Jeb, the legend over there. And then the next cashier will be Jeff. Jeb, Jeff, and Joff will be our cashiers. <laughs> so we have to, Jeff is coming. Jeff is on the horizon. He is, he is almost arrived. And Silver's over here working quite hard. Ooh, actually, hold on. Let's, uh, here, hold on. Um, you're not gonna go to my register, right? Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, the sugar is almost out, which is, a bit of a problem. Silver, you're not keeping up. Hold on, I'll help you. I don't blame you. <laughs> it's very busy in here. Hold on, is there anything else that's too low? Amy said, if I work hard, I'll get cake. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the flower's low too. Oh God. We had more customers tonight, Silver. It's okay. Oh no, we're out of flour. All right, well, you know what? It is what it is. I give up. <laughs> um, but I guess we can We can let Jeb finish out the night while we finish restocking and stuff and helping, <laughs> helping Silver restock. <laughs> It's been your first day off since you started the new job. So you've been chilling out most of the day doing more adulting stuff. I completely understand that. I've been doing a lot more adulting stuff too. Cause it just, man, it seems like it's kind of funny. It seems like a lot of people, Amina, hi, you miss Jeb. Jeb is right here. Jeb is working very hard and Jeb is doing fantastic. He is incredible. What an icon and silver's working very hard too. Although He's having a little bit of a trouble keeping up with some of the stuff, but you know what? We're all working. That's why I chip in. We work on this together. So, um, but yes, yeah, Sand Ninja, it's kind of funny. Um, I, I feel like a lot of people have made job changes recently. It just kind of seems to be in the air. Like I know a lot of people who just were like, I've had enough. I'm starting a new job or like I'm leaving my current job to go do something else. Um, it just seems to kind of be in the air right now. I don't, I don't know what it is. Cause I recently left my job too. So, um, that's just kind of the vibe. <laughs> Attica, Attica, Attica. I, I, yes, I'm not. I will absolutely let you see Jeb's hunchback. Look at him. Look at the man. Look at the legend, the 45 degree angle to his back. It is the vibe. Someday I'm going to need to sit down and we can watch all the reels I make with y'all. 
on stream <laughs> just because I do have a reel about Jeb and his 45 degree angle back. So his incredible hunchback, look at him go. That just made my day. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> you didn't really have a choice in your change. I mean, honestly, I kind of didn't. They fired the whole marketing department I was a part of. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sanja. That that really sucks. I I kind of was in a bit of a similar boat. I also was in a I was in a sales department, and the client just decided to um, pull out, which like we knew they were going to. Um, like it kind of had been coming for a long time, but it was still, it happened extremely suddenly. And my company that I was working for told me I could go back to generic sales, which I would have taken a significant pay cut and had to work a way rougher job. And I basically just decided to call it, um, which kind of was something that had been a long time coming, if I'm being super frank. Um, but I just decided to take my chances elsewhere. So that's kind of my current status. So but I'm sorry to hear that. That That is awful. I hate when that kind of stuff happens. It seems like it's just been going around in business lately. That's just kind of the way that the American business market is right now, which is awful. I think they treat people terribly, but you know, not like me. I want to be a good boss to all of my employees. <laughs> I'm a good boss. You now sell furniture? Well, good luck. No, I know sales is hard because I'm, I'm, I, I was one, so I, I completely get it. Live, laugh, lo live, love, laugh, Jeb Hunchback. Oh man, that needs to be like a um, lib, live, love, laugh, Jeb Hunchback. That needs to be like a um, a cross stitch. You know how people do the cross stitches where they do like the the sassy cross stitches or whatever. That needs to be a, a cross stitch for for Jeb. You disagree with the good boss? Well, listen, I'm doing my best. We have to be good for the dawn, you know. Like if it wasn't for the dawn's incredible protection obviously it's not the dawn's fault it's that the city's so dangerous you know the dawn the, the city's just dangerous um the dawn's incredible protection but if the city wasn't so dangerous and we didn't need the dawn's incredible protection we could we could you know <laughs> i could i could give you more lunch breaks <laughs> Don't forget, we need Jeff and Josh to Joff too. Yes, yeah, so Jeff is coming tonight. We are like halfway through store level 19, so uh, we should hit it tonight. Uh, so Je Jeff is on the horizon. He is riding up over the horizon on the back of a horse, majestically. He is on the way. He will be here soon. So <laughs> that's kind of the vibe. Um, I'm helping Silver restock first because I want to see what we are out of before we I start ordering things because that's like a little bit important. The Dawn keeps the pigeon crew away from the store. Yes, the pigeon crew. The freedom fighters of the pigeon crew. I mean, sorry, the terrorists of the, the pigeon crew. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Gotta make sure the pigeon crew don't come in and rough us up. It's a hard neighborhood out here. It's like reaching a milestone. Did you think of a forced name? Or are you sticking with Bob? I'm not sure yet. I think we're gonna kind of wait because we've got we've got a long time until we get to Bob. Here, I'll pay bills while we're. See, the bill didn't show up yesterday, but now it's here. Whatever. Um, we have a long time. We have to be store level 50 before we get the fourth cashier. So I think we're kind of set <laughs> for now. <laughs> so, you know. I will be taking suggestions from chat though of who wants to be our second restocker. Unless we want to name the second restocker quick, like as in quick silver, but I don't know. I think it depends on how we're feeling at the time. Um, let's see, Turco. See, Silver, you're doing a good job. You just need a little bit of help, but like we have so many products on the shelves at this point. The next product license we get, very exciting, will be cleaning products. <laughs> very thrilling. <laughs> a very, uh, integral part of any grocery store is cleaning products. Oh, I already did these. Oh, I didn't finish them. That's right. I like these little cakes. They're very cute. Pepe, pepites? Is that, does that say pepites? Wheat from France, free palm oil. Ah, I'm assuming they mean to say it's free of palm oil, <laughs> but it's made with free palm oil. The palms have been liberated only organic free range palm palm oil here <laughs> that's it that's all we have um is it possible to throw away a box that still has products inside i don't think so i think you are kind of stuck with that 
Man, Silver, you are having trouble keeping up. Uh, we're out of salt. That's probably why. No, you're, we're not. Here we go. I'll help. Unlike the pigeons, they aren't free. Those nasty people. Is there still pe is there people outside? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, no. no it's, it's something else. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am like a dog. And of that every single time people are outside my apartment, I'm like, what? What are you doing out there? Why are you out there? Granted, speaking of dogs, everybody's dog, when they walk it by our house, has to stop and smell our, our, our like front door and stuff. Like, they have to stop. They have to do the good sniffs. They have to, like, investigate. See, I do wish you could combine partial boxes, because this is annoying. All right, God, we need one more. Okay, Ugh, time for the big restock. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Should I just buy one of everything? Let's just maybe... I didn't need two of those, actually. Let's buy one of everything and then see what the heck happens. Because I'm kind of tired of having to sit here and, like... Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, let's just buy one of everything and then see what we're missing at that point. I feel like that's a good, maybe a good way to go. You got two picks to share with you? The sneak preach of, peak of your logic if you allow prints? Yeah, absolutely I should allow links. I think. Unless I have those, I don't think I have them turned off. But just try and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> I can always turn them on if so. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Let me see here. I will preview first just for safety's sake. Um, let's see. Ooh. Here. Oh, now here. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Give me a second. That does have your name on it if you care. <laughs> just... Just letting you know, that does have your actual name on it, if you care. Because <laughs> it's showing the... Yeah, uh oh, it has your name. Here, hold on. Let me see if I can... Can I full screen them? Okay, I can full screen them. There we go. Here we go. This is better. Um, cool. That's the planks being painted, looks like. And then... Oh, that looks really nice, actually. I mean, not that it's like a surprise. I figured that you knew what you were doing, but that looks really good. I like kind of the variation in the stain a little bit. Like, was that... I've never done DIY products before. Was that on purpose? Or is that just something that ended up happening by proxy? You know, like as you did the thing. Okay. Um, oh yes, one of everything. We were we were restocking, that's what we were doing. Um, okay, flower. Where did you go? You go here, okay. But I like the variation and the, I like wood textured stuff in general because I do like kind of having variation in things, so. Wood variations, so different colors. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, so you got like different types of wood. That's interesting. I did not need more eggs. This was the only problem with my theory is I actually did not need more eggs. <laughs> that's okay. All right, um, sugar. We've got some chiz. Did not need more cheese either. That's all right. Um, and then coffee we were out of. All right, we stopped at coffee, I think. But yeah, that looks really good. <clears throat> I'm sure it feels nice to have like some of that finally finished. I just bought tea. I don't think I needed a milk. I don't actually remember where I was at in this list. Peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, spaghetti, salt, orange juice, soda, soda, apple juice. It's getting there slowly. I can imagine a home project that big would take forever. So I, I completely understand it taking a long time. Yeah, I've mostly been, just been trying to cook. <laughs> a lot of my, my home projects right now are just cooking. I have so many home cleaning projects I want to do and stuff now that I have the time, but I'm trying to figure out... Oh, God. You're full. No, these are the flour. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, like, you know... Yeah, uh, to, uh, Silver uh, was working on those for uh, their garage. I'm always really amazed at people who can DIY. I like I'm learning to DIY slowly, but it's such a process. Um, okay. Here we've got this is regular soda, which we did not need more of. Okay. The only problem with this method is that it means that if I have too much of something, I'm starting to get annoyed. So you know what? Actually, we might as well go ahead and buy the next storage upgrade. Don't worry, the Don will get his cut for sure. But I might go ahead and buy the next storage upgrade because doing this is kind of driving me insane every day. Um, we didn't need more zap. Okay. You know what? Suffering. Let's do it. It's expensive, but I don't care. We do have the ability to, right? Bills, growth, hiring, storage. Yes. Excellent. And now 
the door's open. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh my God, we're gonna have to move everything around. No, I didn't mean to do that. Can you go back on the shelf? Thank you. Okay. Oh God. Eh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Giant storage rack. Okay, here. Um, we gotta snuggle up to the edge of the wall. And boop. Never saw a stream where the door gets open? Really? Yeah, I've seen someone do just this upgrade, but this is about as far as I've ever seen anyone complete this game. Like, I haven't seen them go farther than this. So, this is about the limit of what I've seen people do. Um, I think these racks can stay like that. Wow, that really doesn't give you a lot more space, does it? For it being a storage upgrade, that doesn't give you room for a lot more shelves. I guess maybe, here, this will make our life so much easier. I guess maybe if you um, turn, stop. I keep trying to pick up the shelves and I keep picking up boxes instead. It's driving me nuts. I guess if you do this, okay, this is probably what they're intending you to do. But that doesn't leave room for another shelf over here. Amy dislikes the inconsistency of it. Actually, hold on, let me. The Dawn is <laughs> pleased with expansion. <laughs> Have you seen Avatar? The Boulder is conflicted about hurting a little girl. <laughs> The boulder is over his confliction, conflicted feelings. <laughs> the dawn is pleased. <laughs> Dang girl, you lifted that whole shelf with one hand. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the boulder is over his conflicted feelings. Oh, it's crowded in here now. I hate that. Will we potentially buy the next upgrade as soon as we have money for it just so I can stop feeling claustrophobic? Yes. But this will make this so much faster. Like, just so much faster. Sugar... We need one of <laughs> um, sugar. I think I literally left products on the road. I think they're still out there. Have I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. I'm sure you can. This artist heard his $10 per custom emote. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I will absolutely here. Hold on. I'm going to, sorry. I'm going to save that. Actually, I'm going to be ratchet about this and take a photo of this with my phone. I will absolutely look them up. Amazing. I will absolutely do that. Yeah, I saw a lot of artists, like uh, emo artists on um, Etsy that had like a rank, price range thing. So like it started at 10 and then would like go up. So yeah, if they're, if they're 10 per emote, I will absolutely um, look into that for sure. Cause that sounds really good. So, and I will absolutely appreciate any help with that considering. So um, need another coffee. This, oh, this is so much faster. <laughs> this is so much faster. <laughs> Oh, for the sweet relief. Um, we got the sugar. Maybe another basmati. Rice basmati. Uh, I, did I get the milks already? No, I didn't. But maybe I'll wait. Uh, 31. Yeah, another choco. Choco. Chocolate. Yes, their art is good. I actually think it would fit your model too. Not 100% fit, but close. That's good to know. Yeah, I'll absolutely take a look at them for sure. You can fit another shelf in the corner if you move some over. Yeah. I don't know how they're intending for you to do this. Cause the problem is they have this little like, they have the little like access clearing requirement clearly for silver. So silver doesn't trip over themselves as they're trying to get everything stocked. Um, but uh, you know, it was chocolate I needed. Um, chocolate, good. Be careful, the pigeon will take products off the, the pigeons will take products off the streets if you leave it. I will be very careful. I will not, I will not tarry. The only reason I'm tarrying as much as I am is just because of store expansion. There's a pigeon teeth. <laughs> Beef. Um, here, there we go. Yeah, we're, we, we have to have protection from the dawn of the rats, the rat family. So that the rat father, if you will, um, so that the pigeons do not take our things. So <laughs> the pigeon, the pigeon mob, the shelf closest to the door should be moved to get left, to get closer to the computer. There's enough sp space for a shelf in the corner. You mean the rat father? <laughs> yeah. Um, you mean this one like to do over here? You mean? Like this next to the door. Yeah, I know we can fit another shelf over here. But I was kind of planning on sticking that there for whenever we expand, actually. Um, 
the rat father. Did you know, I've never seen The Godfather. There's actually a lot of classic movies I've never seen that that does wrangle the heck out of my roommate because she's like, what the heck do you mean you've never seen these movies? And I'm like, I just, I haven't. I just haven't seen them. Oh, I don't need two of those. I only need one. Um, like, I've never seen The Matrix. I only recently saw, and when I say recent, like in high school, I saw Inception. Oh, we're out of water bottles completely. Um... I just have a lot of movies I need to catch up on. <laughs> My parents were like weird about movies. They were very like Christian. So sometimes they were fine with us watching things that were more quote unquote adult. And then sometimes they got really weird about it. And I think uh, we need more Turco. Man, they sell out of Turco really quick. They like their Turco. It's a very popular brand. Um, and then, but yeah, I haven't, there's a lot of movies I just haven't got a chance to see yet. Um, maybe one more yogurt, because I feel like we're getting like a little bit low on yogurt. We can just get another one. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think we need anything else. We could get more candy. I guess maybe we could get more candy. All right. The one on the right-hand side of that one. So you mean this one? Like you're saying I could move it forward? Oh, God. <laughs> like this, like up here, you mean? Yeah, I suppose I could and then have another one kind of slotting in over there. So, but I think that I'll probably leave it just here for now and then we'll kind of reshuffle. I'm honestly might just, I need more, like I'm making a bunch of money and I can't do anything with it right now anyway until we, um, we get the next cashier. So I might just buy the next door expansion, <laughs> have a shelves form in the corner, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it, they could, do you mean like over here? How can you even, oh God, did I mess that up? I think I did. It's okay. I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll fix it in a second. Do you mean like maybe like right here? Yeah, I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. We're just over here playing Tetris with shells. It's okay. <laughs> no movies, just stick with anime. And I'm loving Mashal season two. Oh, hi, Gamer Niche. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day today. We're making money for the rat mafia. The Dawn. He needs us to make more cash. But he's got to protect us from the pigeons, so... That's good to hear. I'm doing well. I'm, I had a really good day today. So I got a lot of projects I'm working on that I, I got some good progress on today. So, um, yeah, we need to catch up on Mashal. Um, I am, uh, I have had to give up on Black Butler out of rage. <laughs> um, it, I got to like episode three and I was like, mm, and it just, it got, it went downhill really fast. They included, they didn't learn their lesson and they included non-canon stuff in it. And they just need to stop doing that. We all know what happened with Black Butler season two. We just need to stop doing that. Just stop including non manga canon stuff in the dang anime. <laughs> Mashal Muscles and Magic. I finished the whole thing like six months ago. Yeah, we have been watching through it uh, fairly recently. What are you? Why? Oh, did I get an extra milk down there? I don't know when that happened. Okay, I think we can open. I think we're good. We've got five bread, 12 bread. Okay, good. Silver, are you done? I think you're done, Silver, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay, we can open. Thank God. We have seven, seven, seven dollars. That's funny. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying the heck out of Mashal. Um, we need to, I finished season one. We need to keep working on season two, so. You said a long time ago, Black Butler, first episode wasn't bad, but it went downhill. It wasn't. The first episode, the first couple episodes, they were trying to get people in, but they went out of order with the manga arc first. And then that I could forgive. And then they included nine canon stuff. Hydration reminder, you just got me right as I was <laughs> right as I was taking a sip. Everybody hydrate, it's good for you. Um, but after that, they just mmm, they got they got my goat. They got me. They got me. I got real mad. <laughs> so I might finish the season just to see what they did with it, like myself, but I kind of rage quit watching it with the family anyway. So you just finished Blue Lock? I've never watched Blue Lock. But is it good? I'd watch it if it's good. I've been kind of busy going back and forth with a Hoyoverse stuff and and you know watching other stuff. I totally intend oh um something I've been watching content recommendation. I like everybody else on the internet have been watching um uh Jenny I think her last name is Roberts Nicholson. Anyway there's a you oh god what the heck is her name? I it's Jenny is her first name but I, I don't remember what oh god I'm sorry I'm looking up something on YouTube hold on 
Customers, hold on, I'm sorry. Where is it? Oh God. Jenny Nicholson. Um, so she is a YouTuber who does a lot of like Disney bounding and stuff like that. Um, but she stayed at the Disney Star Wars Hotel, which was a Star Wars themed hotel they had in Disney that only operated for like a year and a half. And then they shut it down because it was bleeding money. And basically, if you've know, if you didn't hear, if you ever heard about it before, or if you haven't heard about it, it was essentially a hotel that was essentially designed to be a role play hotel where it was an all included experience where you pretended like you were on a Starcraft and they like had character actors that were te like you were LARPing the story with them all day. And like in theory, that sounds like a really cool thing, but in practice, it was a total disaster. And for so Jenny and her sister went. So it was two people for two people in a tiny, tiny, tiny room. It was six thousand um, dollars. So it's kind of crazy. So you know, you got to get going silver. That's totally fine. Good luck with the market market owning. See you Wednesday. Yes, yeah, see you Wednesday. Hope you have a good rest of your day and a good like dinner if you haven't already had it. But yeah, you have a good evening. I will take care of your avatar well. I still can't give you any breaks, unfortunately, because the dawn needs us to work. But uh, I will. <laughs> everything else, I'll do my best on. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good. It's a sports anime. Oh yeah. Is that, um, oh God. I think I remember hearing about it. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking. What's it about again? The, 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 the sport it's from, hold on. I think I remember hearing blue lock. Oh God. Blue lock. Oh, it's soccer. That's right. Football. <laughs> that's, that, that's awesome. That, that's good to hear that it was good. I love sports anime, so that's that's good that there's a recommendation for it. I'll definitely Silver. Oh, I was like Silver, where are you going? He's going to our new open store room, storage room door. I forgot that we have that, and he scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's awesome to hear that it's good. I'll definitely have to check it out at some point. <clears throat> But yeah, I would, uh, it's like a, the Jenny's video on the Star Wars hotel. I would, it's like a four hour video would highly recommend it. It's fantastic. It's, uh, it's extremely chaotic. It was $6,000 for like essentially functionally 48 hours. And it was really bad. And she got like the cheap room. So it was it, that I've been watching that and that's been extremely entertaining, but I do need to catch up on like other anime and stuff. Um, still watching slime. That's still one of my favorite anime. Like, it's just good. I'm so happy it's back. <laughs> that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Um, I'm just happy season three is back. And they're back to the first, like, eight episodes has been nothing but political intrigue. And I'm like, yes, that's what I wanted. That's very good. It's what I wanted. So I've been enjoying it. <clears throat> okay, we are so close to store level 20. <laughs> like, we're so close. <laughs> we are like... I don't know if we're going to get it by the end of the day, but we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting real close. I love that Silver has to walk through my um, checkout counter to be able to get to the storage room. Now, here he comes. Sometimes he goes to the front, but half the time he goes behind. Looks like we're still keeping up so far. I'm keeping an eye. It seems like we tend to get an evening rush. Um, and so it's kind of hard to keep up with like the last bits of, of, uh, of it. So okay uh 70 oops, 76 35 does the character's mouth according to your mouth movement or is it based on audio it's based on audio uh, my png tuber is based on audio so whenever i it hears a sound it responds <laughs> so a bit of an ele in an Ill inelegant solution but uh it's my it's what i got for now so and i think she's really cute so i've really enjoyed uh designing her and working with her so far. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's based off of uh, any sound that it picks up. So that's why whenever we have cooking ASMR time, if you hear, if I start going crazy, it's because um, the, the clanging of the pans in the background, the microphone's picking up on it. So. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for your business, sir. Oh, 103. Oh, have we had someone do $100 worth of food before? I don't think they, we have. That's crazy. Um, We're not out of anything, but we're getting awful close. Um, 
Here, let's check this guy out, and then I think we're gonna help Silver restock as Jeb finishes off the last few customers, because it's almost nine. Um, yes, good. All right, Silver, help is on the way. Oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta, um, order, you know what, let me, oh god, while we're still, while it's open, let me order a couple more, um, spotlights. Maybe three? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got that right as it turned nine, <laughs> like, that was, like, right on the edge. Oh lord, okay, cool. <laughs> I gotta get some more lights in here, because it's dark as heck. Come on, did you do? Okay, good. That was very close. That was like right, right on a, the last possible second. Actually, we didn't need three, but that's okay. I can just, um, I'll just keep one for now. But it gets dark in here at night. Guess I can go ahead and add one more to the back end of the room. Cool. All right, um, and then I'll help Silver restock. You think it's really cute and unique? Thank you, I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun designing her, so. Someday I'm going to make a debut video, like a proper debut video, <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> something I've been thinking about for sure. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh God. Did we didn't sell out of anything? Did we? We didn't. Okay, good. I always look at the half empty shelves and I get like nervous <laughs> and I'm not even sure that I'm not missing anything, but I, I didn't. We're good. I shall help silver as a uh, Jeb finishes the last few. Oh God. Oh, two, 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 one. Dang. Also, we're like right there. Look at our store level. We're like right there. I think we might get it with these last few customers. We're like so close. Oh, who do you think she is? She's giving somebody, but I don't know who. Paris Hilton? Is it wild to say that she's giving Paris Hilton? I don't know why she's giving Paris Hilton. I just think I love how we're naming all the women. Well, I guess we've named one one gentleman. We've named um, Jimmy Neutron, adult version. <laughs> but it's more. But we're aiming mostly. We're naming mostly women anyway. <laughs> so, um, I guess she's giving Paris Hilton vibes. Bye, Paris Hilton. Hope you enjoy your groceries. Yeah, I can tell Silver's having a hard time keeping up with the restocking. We definitely need before we do any more expansion. We need Jeff. Jeff, 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 we need Jeff. Jeb is doing a fantastic job, but uh, we need Jeff. We only care about the girlies, yeah. This one's for the girls and the gays. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, are we there? Wait, is she gonna be it? Is she gonna be store level 20? Hold on. I'm gonna stand here and watch you check out because that's not awkward at all. Wait for it. Yes, that was store level 20. We did it. <laughs> right at the like very end of the day too. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, Jeb, go home. You're an icon. <laughs> You've done everything you needed to. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, Bryce Basmati is the only thing that's kind of toned down. Okay, here, we're gonna, um, it's five. Oh, it didn't go down that much. Oh, it did. Actually, it did. Never mind. I lied. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> yay. Okay. We're going to get Jeff. Just maybe I'm going to restock first. I don't know. I guess I can restock. I don't like restocking while the store is open, though. That always kind of bothers me. Or like, I don't like get doing the morning restock while the store is open. It just kind of, I don't know, gives me the hives. I was worried the staring would put her off. Can I help you check out your groceries? Oh my God, have you actually, like, d serious question, have y'all ever been shopping and like you have that one store manager that's just like way too eager to like make you feel like they're paying attention to you? Or like even worse, when you go to stores and they're like, the sales associate follows you around. It's like, how can I help you today? And like, I, I totally get it. Actually, sorry, not meaning to trigger Sand Ninja because I know you're having to sell furniture now. Um, but like, I'm the kind of person that's really like, anxious and so whenever I have a store employee like follow me around I get like really nervous <laughs> and I'm like no I'm fine thank you like I'm like always just like like I'm the kind of person that prefers to self check out versus um have like a cashier check me out because I just don't well I think it depends though I'm fine with the Trader Joe's cashiers checking me out because they're typically super friendly and kind of chill so they don't bother me as much but um 
it gets especially weird when a manager does it. Cause I have had managers before, like follow me around and be like, like, is everything to your liking? And I'm like, I a hundred percent get that you're trying to make me feel welcome, but I just feel deeply unsettled. <laughs> so, you know, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Where did this come from here? Here. Good. All right, Silver, I'm helping you. We're going to get this store up and then it's Jeff time. He's gonna arrive. We've been waiting for so long. Yeah, he's having trouble doing all this by himself, so I'm definitely gonna, um... You know, I said I was gonna get the next store storage room upgrade, but can I even get it yet? That's actually a genuine question. Uh, storage... Oh, I can! Do we blow our money on the storage? I think we're gonna. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, oh my God, that was quite a lot of storage. Okay, 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 I see how we're doing this. Oh, uh, wait, I can't, heck, okay. Um, God, okay, this is gonna take way too long. I'm sorry, hold on. You know what, actually, let me, no, this is dumb. Let me um completely rearrange this thing once we have the store open and the cashiers are going. We can, we can do that in a minute. I'm just gonna like sli slightly put this stuff against the wall so I'm not like super lost, but dang it. <laughs> I didn't think about the implications of what I was doing when I did this first. Okay, um, cool. I just need to do a restock in the wall. You're in England, you have a store called Super Drugs where the cashier will not check you out until they ask if you'd like to buy items on sale. Oh, yikes. Oh, do I have enough money to restock? Didn't really think about that. It's all right. You know what? It's all right. It's fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We'll just get, um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're, we're okay. Everything's fine. We'll start with the things we're fully out of and then go from there. Um, God, that would make me oh, so uncomfy. It's already bad enough when cashiers and like, like, like clothes stores and stuff have to be like, would you like your, cre the credit card that we sell here? And it's like, no, thank you. I would not like the credit card. I mean, like, I've worked sales, so obviously I know how to just be polite, because I understand that, like, they have to ask, because, like, I've been there. I know how it is, but it just still is uncomfy every time. You're about to say, it makes you feel so weird that you have to awkwardly act like you're not watching what furniture they're looking at and trying out after I take it. Like, oh, God, I can imagine that's uncomfy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Being a sales agent is hard. It's just, it's difficult, no matter how you look at it. Oh, man, that fell with a vengeance. That was like, wee! <laughs> Yeet! Um, where do you go? Yeah, we might not have enough money to fully restock, but you know what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, we need the money for the second cashier, too. Hmm. Didn't think about that either. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it'll be all fine. The Don just needed his cut, you know. <laughs> and we'll just, we'll, we can always open and then get Jeff midday. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, there we go. You basically just idle pose in the middle of the store. Like, just like a, like a video game character, just doing like a light bouncing. You know, like the, you know, the, the, the TikTok trend that was going around for a long time of the, like the, the smash music of the dun 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 Choose your character. Dun 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 I don't know where those boxes are going somewhere. They got places to be. They can't be sitting around like this. In this economy? Sorry, my brain's an entire encyclopedia of memes. <laughs> and um, I was at the store the other night and we got like dessert and it was like a tre tres leches cake. Um, and I was just, it made me laugh because it made me think about this um, like Tumblr post I saw a long time ago of it was like, and uh, oh God, I don't even know what language it was in, but it was like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a news article that was like, uh, un recipe, uh, like a, like a recipe for seis leches cake and someone had responded seis leches in es economy and I was like, everyone's like, we don't need to know. We don't need translation into English. I know exactly what that says. Seis leches in es economy. <laughs> seis leches. Um, that's way too many. <laughs> Um, but those pigeons out on the streets, never. <laughs> the pigeons out on the streets are going to take the boxes before they even know what hit them. 
um, tea. Oh God, I think that's about all we can buy today. You know what? It's all right. What are we low on? Nothing. We're low. We're not low on too many. You know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We have $8 left. I don't know if I paid bills yet. I don't think that really matters. <laughs> bills? I paid bills. I'm responsible. I paid my dues to the, to the dawn. So we're fine. Sace? Um, oh God. Those trees. Cuatro. Cinco, seis, siete. Uh, no, seis is six, I believe. Yeah, siete is seven, I believe. I took five years of Rosetta Stone Spanish in high school. <laughs> so I can't speak Spanish, but I can sure as heck make a good old crack at pronouncing it right. <laughs> Didn't learn teach me how to speak the language did teach me enough that whenever someone's speaking Spanish I will squint at them Suspiciously because I feel like I know some of the words that they're saying and I have to kind of follow the gist of the conversation But not anything to where like Which does mean <laughs> my brain's like Karen <laughs> it does mean that whenever I was a sales agent for insurance I bought flour and I didn't need to Oops. Well, we have extra flour now. It's fine. Um, yeah, when I was a sales agent for insurance, I, um, Silver's working hard. He's doing good. Okay, let's open. We don't have enough for Jeff yet, but Jeff is coming. We'll just have to, we'll have to <laughs> check some people out first. Um, but yeah, um, I, 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 like when I, when I used to be a sales agent, um, I would, uh, like sometimes we would have Spanish speaking customers that we would get an interpreter on the line. Cause that is a rule with Medicare. Since it's government regulated, you have to have interpreters for the most common languages just in so that we can be accessible to people, which I appreciate. Um, but, uh, what it meant practically is that there were several times where I had Spanish customers on the line that they were speaking with the interpreter and I know enough Spanish to follow along. Hey, sorry, ADHD. What's that guy? Is Men in Black? Is this what we're... Men in Black? Matrix? Who is this supposed to be? Is this gentleman wearing shades? I mean, clearly he's one of the Dawn's men, obviously, but um, he's checking up on us and making sure we're okay. He's San Ninja's co-worker. Um... I have also not seen Men in Black either, and I really need to, but that's somebody. I don't know who he is, but he's somebody. Anyway, um, uh, I would be on the phone with the interpreter, like hearing the them speak Spanish with the interpreter, and I would know enough to know that the customer was trash talking me, and so I would just sit there and be like, hmm, like, what did you, you're grumpy about something. What was it? Was it, it was too expensive? Taylor Swift, you are a billionaire. You can get over the price. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can get over the price of a bottle of water. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I would know the customer was trash talking me. And I like obviously had to pretend like I didn't know. Um, but Lorenzo, that's Lorenzo. Oh, he's your, he's your, your he's your coworker. Gotcha. Lorenzo. Cola too expensive, apparently. Um, but yeah, I, it would just, I'd have to pretend like I didn't know the customer was trash talking me, but it would make me grumpy because I would hear them complaining. And I'm like, listen, old people complain us what they do. It's, it's genuinely just what they do. Like I'm dead serious, but like, it wasn't that big of a deal. And like, I get complained by plenty of old people in English, but I just would <laughs> get grumpy. Cause I'd be like, I know you're talking trash about me. I know you're talking trash about me when I don't deserve it because what you're dealing with right now is your fault. Genuinely, it's your fault and it's not mine. And I would appreciate if you didn't. <laughs> Medicare is just really hard. It's very complicated and it's very difficult to understand even for someone who has training in it, which like, no, I do not have a problem with the customer struggling with that aspect. It's more that they would just get very mad at me. And I'm like, I'm not the one that makes the rules. It's the government that makes the rules. And I'm trying to help you as best I can. But if you sit here and yell at me all day, we're not going to get anywhere. Like, this is not going to help you. It's just going to, like, make everybody miserable. So, you know. Anyway, I know enough Spanish to be a nuisance, but not enough Spanish to actually do anything with it. <clears throat> you know. Which cola was it that they were mad at? Shouldn't be that one. Maybe it's this one. You know what? I'll give Taylor Swift that. That was a little bit expensive. I will give Taylor Swift that. You know what? She's valid. Um, 
it's Jeff time. <laughs> it is Jeff time. Jeff time. Jeff, 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 Jeff. He's here. He's arrived. Just Jeff. <laughs> Yay. Welcome, Jeff. Oh, your store thing's closed. Sorry. Here you go. It's Jeff. He's here, everybody. I'm a free man again. <laughs> I can... Oh my god, I'm gonna have to I do need to get another register just to keep working on doing my own checkouts, but like I don't know if I want to do that right this second if I'm being super super honest with you. How much does it cost? Uh 500 for the next one. Ugh. <laughs> Brother, ugh. Um how do I want to arrange these bad boys? I can arrange them. You know what? I did just get rid of I did just get rid of the checkout or like the computer here, so I can probably squeeze. So I will probably squeeze pretty soon. But for now, our existence, thanks to the blessings of the dawn, <laughs> will be to simply help out Silver uh, during the day <laughs> and um, buy more product licenses soon, because that's gonna be that's gonna be exciting. So, all right. Um, Speaking of helping out Silver, Silver, the water bottles are... Oh, we were going to rearrange the stock room. That was what I was going to do. Hold on. Let's... Um, not you. Let's grab this bad boy. I am a little bit angry that they don't fit in evenly. Do you not? Well, I guess I could probably scoot it closer, couldn't I? Hold on. Let's... Oh, let's turn on the lights first. I'm a free manager. I don't have to sit there and check out all the time anymore. I'm fine being on the ground, helping my employees, you know, beating the pavement, but... Uh, I got some business managing to do. The Dawn will gift you a comp complimentary bat to keep the riffraff out. A whole bat for me? Will he sign it too? My family would be ever so grateful. Why do you, hold on, sorry. Why are you not lining up the same way as the other one? Come on, good, okay. And then do we fit another shelf? You, we better fit another shelf. I'm gonna be really angry. Like, it, it, like, um, what words am I trying to say? Illogically angry. Yep, there we go. That's what I was trying to say. Can we fit another one? Please? Oh, yes, we can. Wait, yes. Thank God. I was about to be very upset. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. So I'm going to make probably like this. We're just going to probably keep, I mean, granted, we can't really expand the stock room much more than this. So we're going to have to start making things... Oh, we are going to have to start making things a little narrow in here, aren't we? Oh, I suddenly realized how much I hate that. Maybe let's give ourselves... We have room right now, so maybe let's give ourselves a little bit more clearance. Just until we need to start getting that tight. Okay, good. Because it's just going to make it a pain to, like, order items and stuff if I don't. Look at Jeff go. Legend, he's giving Jeb a break. You know what, Jeb? Jeb, you deserved... Actually, hold on, Jeb. You check this guy out, and then I'm going to close your register. Jeb deserves a break. <laughs> he deserves a break. The man has been working nonstop, back-to-back, -back, being the backbone of our store for weeks. He deserves a break. Nobody come to his register. Good. Good. The checkouts are not full, actually. You know what? Maybe they are. Are they, Joel? think they're full. I think he just said that because I closed it. Are we... Can y'all get in line? I think they can get in line. Hold on. I'm just double checking because I will reopen Jeb again if... Oh, they are full. I'm sorry, Jeb. I lied. I gave you a break. I just simply gave Jeb a break. I didn't actually <laughs> let him fully get off the register. That's okay. Sorry, Jeb. I can give you a break in a second once uh, once, uh, once uh, uh, they clear out a little bit. It was a really short break. Listen, <laughs> we're getting so much business. The Dawn's recommending us to too many people, which we're forever grateful for that the Dawn is saying this is his preferred grocery store to shop at. But uh, it makes our, our business booming. It's a little hard, uh, a little hard to keep up sometimes, but we're doing our best. We're just a little family business, you know, a little homegrown business. We can only do so much. Okay, Jeb, here you go, here you go, here you go. I know technically this isn't truly a break, but you, you earned it, buddy. Here you go. It's just your end of shift break, but it's a break nonetheless. Um, all right. 
I will help Silver restock as we wait out, as Jeff works very hard to finish getting his stuff up. Okay, um, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Come on, Jeff, you can do it. You're doing a great job, Jeff. Valuable addition to the team. <laughs> They've been going through the tea lately. I think they keep complaining that the prices are too high because um, I keep forgetting to change them at the beginning of the day, but that's okay. A uh, one tea exactly left. Just one tea. Oh, he's still going. Dang, Jeff. I mean, granted, these customers are buying a lot of stuff, so. The dawn approves of inflation. Now, careful how you phrase that. <laughs> careful. We have to keep our PR clean. <laughs> the prices can't go up too much also because <laughs> we got to make sure the customers come back. All right. Everybody go the heck home. Here, Jeb, I'll take this off. Everybody go the heck home. Oh, this product's found expensive, I guess. <laughs> A lady can't make a profit around here. <laughs> okay, um, uh, 11, 11 25 or eleven fifty, I think. Good. It was that, and then I didn't, I didn't pay attention to what the other one was. It was a uh, milk six pack, and where's the other one? I know there were two. Is it not telling me? Uh, or am I just blind? <laughs> I typed it and was like, mm, well, we get to see how they react to that. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, I'm an internet veteran. <laughs> oh, it was apple juice. I was blind. We're good. I'm an internet veteran. veteran. I know my way around. <laughs> I'm uh, old as dirt in the eyes of the internet, which is very strange to realize. But, oh, God, I'm selling it at three because I hate one. I hate one cent off. I hate it. I hate doing 10 cents. We'll just do three. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, it is not any of my business what Don, the Don gets up to in his private time. You've been to the dark sides of Tumblr and DVR. <laughs> I was bored. What's the, the quote? I always quote movies that I've never seen. I was born. You think you were born into the, the, the molded by the dark. What is the Bane, the Bane line? I'm molded by it, shaped by it. I can always, I can always successfully do the "Don't cite the deep magic to me, witch." I was there when it was written. Yes. Oh, I was a Tumblr baby. A hundred percent, I was a Tumblr baby. And DeviantArt, a hundred percent, of course. Been there, done that, many times. I sometimes I miss Tumblr. I know it still exists, but it's not the same. I left Tumblr when everybody left Tumblr, which was the when they banned NSFW stuff for like the dumbest reasons ever. And then I've just never been back. Why is milk on this shelf? Silver? What did you do? Why is milk on the shelf? I am acknowledging it was probably my fault, but why is milk on the shelf? And milk's not supposed to be on that shelf. What happened? Is Turco. The Lord knows the people need their turco. They're desperate for it. I was born by it, molded by it, born and molded by it. I didn't see the light. I was already a man, and by then it was nothing to me but blinding. <laughs> no, I have many, many Tumblr stories. I actually have a uh, kind of a land, like a date for when I joined Tumblr. I joined Tumblr right after the first Mish Apocalypse. Like genuinely, like I like was like a week after the first Mish Apocalypse, my best friend at the time convinced me to join. So I've been there, done that, know many things. Yeah, yeah, I, yep, I have like a, a pin in it. I also know the exact day I first started watching YouTube too, although I need to write it down because I keep forgetting what date it was. I um, started watching YouTube the day before Captain Sparkles released Fallen Kingdom for the first time because I went back to show my parents this funny YouTube channel I'd found and he had just posted it. So it was like in 2012, I believe. So yeah, I weirdly, I don't have dates for like many other things in my life like that, but for some reason I know those like, like the back of my hand. So glad to know we're cut of the same cloth then. Uh, are you also born from Tumblr and molded by it? 
I've been everywhere. I've been around. I've seen. What's the, oh God, what's the Chica quote in Five Nights at Freddy's of the, I was the first. I have seen everything. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and it's also very weird getting old because to, you know, not so many years ago, it was the weird youngster thing to do to be watching YouTube videos and be on Tumblr. So I don't, don't talk about the fact that I'm almost 30. We don't talk about that. It, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> um, cola's good. We need zap. Do we have zap? Are we out of, no, we don't. We have, we have it. Sorry guys. Uh, the, God, the restocking is going to take longer and longer every day. All right. Um, although maybe I can help Silver keep up with the restocking during the day. So maybe it'll get a little bit better since I'm assisting actively. My Tumblr maker was the super hulock floods. Oh God. You were a super hulockian as it were. I never quite got on board with super hulock trend because it just got so trendy, cr cringy so fast. But that doesn't mean that I wasn't an avid viewer of Supernatural and Doctor Who and Sherlock. Uh, Sherlock was maybe not my mine personal favorite. Like I liked it, but I wasn't as obsessed with it as some other people were. Okay, I think we start ordering stuff now. Um, I wasn't like quite as obsessed as some other people were with it, um, especially because season three was so bad. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I did, I did, uh, I did consume Supernatural like it was water. So, and looking back, that was a way worse show than I thought it was at the time. I mean, all the adults in my life were saying that, but you know. Listen, man, it was, it was emotional to me. <laughs> it mattered to me. <laughs> Not by choice, but the edits pulled me under the waters. <laughs> oh, listen, I was a huge fan fiction dog net person too. I was, or AO3, sorry. I, I started on fan fiction back when I was a wee baby and then moved to AO3 like every reasonable adult did um, when it was the right time. So, <laughs> um, Percy Jackson tied us aside of Tumblr. Gotcha. That makes sense. I did not venture into Percy Jackson. I read the first few books and they just weren't my personal like taste. I liked them. I just had like a whole, I think I was too busy consuming fan fiction at the time. So I like didn't quite stick with that. But um, I have like phases in my life of what type of books I consume. When I was young, it was that I let it, read every fan like like fantasy novel like on the shelves at the library when I was a kid, and then I had my fan fiction era, and then for now I'm mostly a manga slash manhwa slash um uh I'm trying to say doujin Dong, Dong reader and that's wrong oh god dongwa reader um I'm a filthy <laughs> dongwa reader right now <laughs> so. You were there for the beginning of Smosh, original Charlie the Unicorn, Honey Badger. Oh, God. Oh, God. Charlie the Unicorn. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I joined when the Yogg's cast were popular. That's actually where I began my gaming, my gaming video addiction, which has continued, obviously. I mean, that's the whole reason. I figured I have been watching gaming videos for years. I might as well make them myself. Although I sound so old saying gaming videos, but like, I, I guess it's now streaming's kind of the game. So like, it's kind of hard to like, I can't just say be a YouTuber anymore. So you need to go so catch you next time. Thank you for the stream. Absolutely, Amina. Glad you were here to see the arrival of Jeff. Thank you for your support as always. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. <laughs> you can still quote most of the llamas with hats. Oh God, llamas with hats is incredible. Carl. I, I've heard that the kids these days, um, I'm kidding, but like I, I've heard that TikTok has recently uh, rediscovered llamas with hats, and I find that delightful. They're like, wow, this is really dark humor. And everyone's like, uh huh. <laughs> that was the point, <laughs> that was the objective. <laughs> Carl, that kills people. I did watch Dan and Phil. I wasn't an obsessed Dan and Phil person, but I found Dan quite quirky. And so I enjoyed watching his, his stuff. Um, I kind of stopped watching pretty quickly though, but no, I've been there for it all. I've been there for the rise and like the leaving of Matt Pat with game theory. I was following Jeffree Star and Shane when that all went down. 
Oh, it's 1.30 a.m. So my day is finished. Yeah, go to bed. Get some sleep. <laughs> Absolutely. Get some good rest. <laughs> yeah, you take care too, for sure. Absolutely. Sleep well. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, I was there when that all went down because I was following Jeffrey as my main, like, makeup artist at the time. I was there for all the makeup YouTuber drama. I was there for Markiplier. I was there for, gosh, everything. All the FNAFs. I am in love with FNAF. I've always been in love with FNAF. I'm a cringy FNAF lover, but, like, I've been there with FNAF since the... Actually, that's how I discovered and branched out in YouTube a little bit. I actually discovered Markiplier through FNAF, as a lot of people did, I, I'm sure, and then kind of branched out a lot from there. So um, I've had my eras of who I watch. They come and go. Obviously, now is the era of streaming. So I follow a lot of VTubers now. Um, and kind of that's my... My particular interest now is a lot of VTubers. I've always been a big fan of following voice actors. So, like, I love D&D, and I used to watch Critical Role pretty religiously. Um, now I watch tend to watch more, like, um, Dimension 20. Uh, they're more my my thing now. And, ob obviously, Adventure Zone. I'm obsessed with Adventure Zone right now. That's kind of one of my big things, so... No, I've been around for forever, and I figured I might as well do it myself because I love it so much, and I have... A lot of stories to tell so and i just love playing video games that's like my like that is my stress relief always and i also love showing off what i'm doing <laughs> like to friends and family and stuff i was the kid that would always be like mom look at my pokemon and my parents would be like that's nice sweetie and so like <laughs> i'm definitely uh uh you know I was like, I might as well stream and do that because take people along with me on that. So Brennan Lee Mulligan is a god, 100%. Actually, I would argue considering his um, family background, he's more of an odd fey being who has been trapped upon this mortal coil in a human body of all things and is forced to consume almonds <laughs> to fuel his... <laughs> feel himself if you hear my roommate laughing in the background we we both love brennan a lot so i can quote so many brennan that he is like god he's hilarious must consume almonds shovel them into himself <laughs> so, yes i'm a huge brennan fan i'm glad we're going the same way with that yeah i'm a huge brennan fan so and like, you know, five years from now, I probably won't be. Like, I just, I tend to go through eras of people that I follow and like watch and stuff, but I feel like that's normal. It's like, you know, sometimes you have different friends for different times of your life and then, but what, man, when a friendship breakup leaves, that that can be tough. Uh, MatPat leaving was kind of a lot. I think it was a lot for everybody, but like, man, the emotions of that were something else. Um, Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> Sitting here, we need more apple juice and orange juice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Matt Pat leaving was unexpected to everyone, and like it's okay. Like he, you know, he needs to live his life. Like I totally get it, and like I also get artistic burnout, burnout as well. Like I think that's a totally valid reason to leave. Um, but he just, I don't know. It was like I don't think anyone was expecting it, and everyone was like, <gasps> and so, and his like goodbye video was so freaking emotional so you know okay we are almost done with the restocking this is only going to get longer as we have more product licenses but i might have to start opening the store and just letting it run while we um do this but it's turco no regular cola so wait do we already have a regular oh that's an overflow never mind we don't need it okay good we're good oh thank god um let's buy these and then let's also um pay our bills because i think i haven't yeah there we go good Okay, our next objective at this point is store level, or, er, well, more obviously more licenses, but then the restocker, so store level two. So you sadly must go for the night too. That's okay. One last errand to get done for the night, but I'll have the tap open for the lurk. I appreciate that. Absolutely. You have a great night. Go enjoy your errands. We are having cooking a some more times. So if you hear pots and pans, that's what that is. So I'm also getting ready to at nine to be done, but you have a good night. I hope you, uh, hope your, your errands go well and everything. So, um, but yeah, store level 22, that's what we need for the next restocker. So that's kind of what we're working towards. Um, we're kind of just 
going back and forth as it were. <laughs> so um, we're done with everything though. So let's just put the last, actually we'll open the store and let, um, put the stuff on the shelves. So we'll need to get another cash or cash register soon as well. Oh, I didn't need those extra eggs. I don't even know why. I guess I had overflow. That's weird. I keep finding products on shelves in places that I'm like, I don't think that's where that was supposed to go, but that's all right. Cool, we'll let Jeff, Jeb and Jeff working hard, keeping our store running all for the name, the name of the Don. <laughs> He's helped my family live for the small, small price of a hefty fee. Okay, everybody's coming in. Yeah, I guess our job just at this point is just gonna be helping Silver restock. So I guess maybe we don't have to do as long a restocks in the mornings, just, you know, cause we can let the store open and kind of get going. Do I have the yogurt over here? I don't know why. I feel like the yogurt, oh, you know what? You know what? Oh, you know what? I think I know. I think, um, I had accidentally messed up the yogurt tab over here at one point, I think. And so I think Silver had to put the yogurt somewhere. So he put them over here. Maybe same thing for the eggs too. They might've been full. And so he might've had to set them on the shelf by themselves. That totally makes sense. That totally makes sense. I understand everything now. Um, so, you know, we're gonna, oh God, so many eggs. I think we're genuinely full capacity for eggs. I don't think I can get any more eggs. I don't think it's possible. Okay, morning, everybody. I'm gonna stand here and watch you shop. Oh, you know what? We need orange juice. Hold on, I'll get that. Uh, did, did I not buy more orange juice? Oops. Oh, maybe he has it. Yeah, Silver was filling it, that's okay, cool. I'll take the apple juice, buddy. We'll work in tandem and shifts. Taylor Swift is here as usual. Um, Where do these go? Apple juice, there we go. I was like, where do they go back? Apple juice, that's what it is. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and watch them shop, honestly, awkwardly in the middle of the room. Here, we'll get a good angle. It's like a fishbowl, we'll just watch them. <laughs> like. Check out. If it gets busy enough in here, I'll eventually get another cash register. I'm gonna need two anyway, cause we have to do that for our like restock count. I'll get another cash register and we'll, uh, we'll do that. Ah, here, hold on. You can't see Jeb behind my bow. There we go. Now you can see him. He can stare into your soul. Just a fishbowl. <laughs> we'll just watch him go by. Watch the days roll by. Silver, are you keeping up with that coffee? <laughs> I'll keep an eye on anything that's getting too low on Silver's and I think the coffee's a little low. We'll go do that. Coffee ve, as it were. There we go. We'll just watch our money go up and our store level go up. It'll be beautiful. Um, so yeah, next is something too. I forgot to reset the products again. Oh Lordy. Uh, 245, why is it at 245? Um, what was too high? Something was too high and I don't know what it was. I don't think I changed the prices again today. Eh, you know what, whatever. We'll just, oh God. Now I have to look, um, two even, 288, that's fine. 384, 336, 225, that's fine. 301, that's fine. 281. 252, uh, 275, that's too low. Um, and then we're gonna do, that's fine. That's fine. Sometimes I forget for a couple days in a row and then I have to go like, you know, uh, check on everything and make sure that it's okay. Um, 408, that's fine. Excuse me, madam. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All these are fine. I don't know why people are complaining. People get really uppity about the price of the sodas. I've noticed the sodas are where they draw the line, which I'm like, it's just a bottle of water. Just go drink tap or something. <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal. Calm down. Okay. <clears throat> Back to our fishbowl. Here, I'll turn the lights too. There we go, our nice bright store. 
we'll help about like eight we'll start helping silver finish the last restock and then uh go from there beep 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 Oh yeah, we can look at the next product license. So the next product license we need is going to be, I think it's cleaning products, <laughs> which is very exciting. <laughs> um, did I pay bills? I did. Licenses, yeah, it's 750. Ooh, you know what? Let's, uh, mm, yeah, let's save getting the new product license for the next stream, I think. I think that'll probably be good because we can, we can do that. Well, do we? Maybe we'll buy it and then we'll start the next stream with it like stock or whatever. We always have to remember to have, what's too expensive? Oh, the checkouts are full. Oh, I closed this checkout by accident. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeb. I mean, I'm glad you got the break, but <laughs> I didn't mean to close Jeb's checkout. Look at him, he's rankling because he can't check out customers. Who's this fine gentleman? Sean Connery? Nah, you don't look like Sean Connery. You look like somebody I recognize though. I just don't know who. You're fair, very fine gentleman there. Um, but yeah, cleaning products. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it next time. Here, let me, we do need to buy a couple more shelves though, if we're gonna do that. Uh, furnitures, let's get two shelves. I know that's a lot of money, but I mean, we're about to have the, the dinner rush anyway, so it's fine. Um, we're gonna set them up. I know this is a little bit hives inducing, but stay with me. We're gonna set them up in the center like this. <laughs> I promise I'm going to make them fit, like match them back to back here. We might, where is the middle actually? I think it's like right here, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do like this. Good. I think we'll probably, I mean, I guess it depends. I think we can maybe wait to upgrade the store a little bit more until we kind of have more, um, more stuff. I'm just, I'm eyeballing everything. So yeah, we'll try to, um, maybe once the day's over, we'll, uh, we'll, um, here, we'll start helping silver restock. And then we're going to, um, once the day's over, we can buy the product license. We just have to do restock before we do that, just to make sure that, uh, everything's Gucci <laughs> before we go, <laughs> just so that we have enough money and everything. Okay. I'll help you silver. Don't worry. You can go home to see your family on a reasonable time tonight. And then I think we should theoretically be able to snuggle those, um, these two forward and then add a third one in the back once I'm ready for it. So, but for now we help silver with the restock. Maybe we'll add the third cash register once we have our next, uh, restocker. That will be good. They are just beeping away in there. I do hate jobs where you do have something beep at you all day long and sound the same and get really annoying the phone tone noise for my call center was like <laughs> like i like it like <laughs> triggers me like a sleeper agent whenever i hear it i'm like oh god so we have another sean connery over here i love all the people that kind of squeak in last minute to check out relatable annoying as a worker but relatable all right, um, we got those oils. We're gonna do these oils. I think everybody's done bothering the shelves for the night. So uh, we can, whatever we restock now will be kind of the final, the final run as it were. It is annoying when sometimes I've gone to help restock at the end of the day and like um, uh, a bunch of customers grab a whole bunch of stuff off the shelves, like and I'm like, no, I just restocked that. What do you mean you're grabbing more? Also, I know that people have complained about this plenty on Twitter, but I wish they had a trash can inside the building so I didn't have to run all the way out to the outside curb to throw away the, the boxes and stuff. That would be really annoying. <laughs> like, it's, it's like really annoying to have to do that. So it'd be really good if we could, we could have that. So I am, trust me, I am, I am in their discord. I am keeping an eye on the developers for the game. And I'll let y'all know if we have any, any game news on this bad boy. I mean, it's been a couple of months and they got the first update out pretty quickly. So I feel like maybe they could be close. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but you know, okay. Pasta. We'll help Silver do the last restock. Here, actually, let's send everybody home first. Everyone can get a good night's sleep and then we'll come back and restock after that. Finish the day. 
Only one product's found expensive. I feel like I can take that hit. I feel like that's tolerable. Oh God, I need to remember to, um, so yogurt, cola, and oil. Yogurt, cola, 225. Yogurt is, that's fine. It can stay the same. And then cola or oil, it was oil. Um, 450, excellent, okay. All right, um, let's see, the yogurts are full, I think. Let's grab these like little cake thingies. I mean, I think we have enough to probably get another product license. So let's uh, let's finish restocking everything first, get our, our purchases in for the day and then kind of see how we're doing from there. Okay, get all the chocolates. They look like such fancy chocolates. I mean, considering this is a European game, they're probably European chocolate and European chocolate can be fancy sometimes. <laughs> My dad used to try to bring back Godiva chocolate whenever he went to Germany, so. I don't know if Godiva actually is fancy. Maybe back in the 2000s it was, and maybe it's not now, but you know. Silver and I both having to go to the trash can at the same time. We're working hard, working together. Okay, the cakes are done. Um, Turco over here. Now that we have an actually full booth of Turco instead of a accidentally putting, I forgot what it was, we put their milk, I think. The apple juice is good, but it's the orange juice that needs stocking, which I think he might've just taken. Um, let's see, flour. Flour's done, I think. Okay. What else does it look like needs help? I think? Oh, there was more Turco, wait. Why do we have Turco over here? We don't need Turco over here. I might have made him. We might be selling double Turco. I might have made a bit of a miscalculation. I mean, I guess we can maybe leave the Turco there for now until um uh oh tea. Have you done the tea, buddy? No, you haven't. That's okay. I can help with that. Um, I guess maybe we'll leave the Turco there for now until um uh, uh we get like another fridge item. And then we can stick the, the, the Turco back in there or like, like get rid of the Turco and put the other item in there instead. Okay. All right. I think it's time to start ordering. We are good on bread. I believe we will need cereal. First off, pay the bills. Cause that's very important. Bills pay. We don't seem to be having to pay too much. We, we've expanded enough that our rent has gone up, but other, everything else doesn't seem too bad. So we need a uh, choco pick. We need another milk. We are good on bottled waters, I believe. Yes, we are. We need another regular oil. Regular oil. Um, actually, maybe two, I think. We kind of... A little lower on that. Good on the olive oil, I think. We need two cheeses. Maybe three, honestly. The cheese is very uh, desirable. And then... Um... Let's move this over here and get two pasta spaghettis because God knows we need extra of them. Pasta spaghetti. Um, good. And that's our first round. We got to keep the, uh, the boxes on the streets away from the pigeons. They'll take them when we're not looking. If the Don works as the, has the moth mafia, then I wonder who the pigeons are. We're gonna have to figure that out later, I guess. Continue to expand on the Amy's Marketplace lore. <laughs> the, the, the birds do work for the bourgeoisie. That is, that is true. Maybe the pigeons do work for the bourgeoisie. Maybe the pigeons do not wanna see a small business succeed. Only major chain stores. They're sabotaging us. I think you're right. I think the pigeons, that was my roommate suggesting that. I think the pigeons do work for the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Amazing. Um, the birds, they work for the bourgeoisie. All right, silver's working hard. Let me get these on the shelves real quick. All right, and then oil. Good, we have more than enough oil, regular oil. Um, all right, we need a sugar. We need maybe two coffees. Yeah, I'm gonna say two coffees. I think we're good on tea for now. We'll need two coffees and a sugar. Two coffees, sugar, where are you? Sugar, sugar powdered. 
I was gonna say as if there's any other kind of sugar, but honestly, I guess there is many other kinds of sugar. I just still hold by the fact that I feel like the product names in these are kind of a meme. Like sugar powdered. Sugar, comma, powdered. All dramatic. Um, all right, I got those, 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 those. Good on peanut butter, need another salt. They actually have been buying the salt lately. For a while, I don't, I don't feel like they were. Um, oh lord, the cola's kinda... Well, we have a bunch of extras, so that's fine. I'm like, there's, there's two whole boxes here, but there's only one cola, so uh, that's a little annoying. Um, hey gamer niche, why is there not an auction to sub to people with fewer viewers? Like you, someone else I watch would not like the 50 plus viewers, there's no sub button. Uh, so I'm not an affiliate yet, um, is kind of the answer to that. We're working on it, um, I'm almost there. Um, but basically uh, the way that Twitch works is that it's kind of like, you know how with YouTube, people don't get monetized until, I don't know if you watch a lot of YouTube, but it, it, when people don't get monetized until they're a certain channel size, they have to have so many watch hours and then they have to have so many subscribers. Um, the way that it works with Twitch is that I have to have so many followers, but then I also have to have an average of so many people watching um, when I'm live because they want to see that people are, they want people to not buy followers, if that makes sense. Um, so I do have 50 is the follower limit to be an affiliate. So I do have the follower limit, which is super exciting. I've gotten that in the last uh, couple weeks and I'm very uh, uh, happy about that um, and thankful. But um, I, I just need an average of three viewers uh, per stream in the last 30 days. Um, so that is kind of the the what, what I'm what I'm looking for. So I'm at like seven or 2.7 right now. So we're getting there. I feel like it's only a matter of time. I am really hoping that we'll hit it before um, um, uh, the, the channel anniversary that's in a couple weeks because I feel like that would just be very nice to, you know, it'd just be like a nice anniversary present or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that that's it. So I just have to keep streaming until I've had enough people watching me on a consistent basis to uh, hit that number. So um, And so if you follow someone else who maybe has more than 50 viewers but they still don't have the subscribe option yet, it's because um, they also aren't an affiliate yet. But they probably are working towards it. So any view counts, if that makes sense. <laughs> so okay we've got basmati rice in um do, 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 do we need another fancy flour and another fancy cereal fancy flour fancy cereal um cereal yeah i think they do that to just a like make sure that people are like actually streaming to people that they're actually like active for um and then also to make sure people aren't like buying subscribers like paying people to subscribe to them and they're not actually real subscribers if that makes sense or not i'm sorry not subscribers followers um so do the people viewing have to stay at three the whole time or is it the peak of the stream it's the average so if i like had one person for the first hour but 25 people for the second hour it's the average of how many people were watching at any given time so that's usually how it works um Orange juice is two. Good. Yes, and I think that's it. I think. I think we're good from there. <laughs> so, um, good. And I think we have enough money for that other product license. So we should grab that before we open because that's exciting. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Um, let's get these on the shelf real quick. The other streamer you watch is at 48 followers. That's awesome. I'm glad they're doing well. Sounds like they're really close then. Yeah, it's definitely a numbers game on Twitch for sure. And it can take a little while. Like, I mean, I've been streaming for a year and some of that I think is just because I, I, I was really busy last fall with my job. So I wasn't able to put quite as many hours into it as I wanted, but um, you know, um, they don't usually have a whole lot of other people than me, other me and her mod watching. Yeah, I understand that. But I'm glad that definitely supporting small, I always try to support as many small uh, streamers as I can. I mean, I'm still a small streamer myself. So like, it's always nice to support each other. So, okay, we are gonna buy this other product license. Um, so let's see, it's management. Now I'm a little worried we don't have enough money. It's 750. We're gonna do it, we're gonna buy it. We have barely enough money to buy. <laughs> That's okay, we'll do it, it's fine. The, the employees have already been paid, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, 
And if she starts streaming before you end, you should raid her? Absolutely. If you ever, if anybody in the chat ever has suggestions of who they'd like me to raid, especially small streamers, definitely let me know when we're getting ready to wrap up. Just because I love to raid small streamers because I think that's so important. Ooh, do we have enough? Uh, ooh, oh, <laughs> we have just enough. It's 270 and then 271 is how much money we have. We have just enough. Oh no, no, not with the, um, here, we'll get rid of the hand soap. That's fine. With the, the, the fee for delivery, we don't have enough. That's annoying. We'll buy one of everything else though. And we'll go ahead and put it on the shelves and then we can buy, it was hand soap. We weren't able to get the last time. So we'll buy, um, we'll buy that first thing. Uh, next thing. So we have, let's see. We, so we have dishwasher tablets. We have, what is this? Is that shampoo? Hold on, what did I just buy? Her name is uh, Badja Bambip, and she's super funny and wholesome. That's really cute. That's awesome. Um, is she live right now? Because we are going to end in just a minute. So is she live right now? Um, I can also just follow her too. I'll probably go drop a follow for her so that if she's live, I can see. Um, we bought bleach, shampoo, toilet paper, hand soap, and dishwasher tablet and cleaner. Okay. So, well, no, she isn't right now. That's okay. Well, I'll, I'll follow her. That way I can see um, when she's live just so that I can keep up with that oh wow <laughs> oh i forgot we're gonna have to like dedicate a couple shelves to the toilet paper i think actually here let's kind of dedicate this shelf to like personal products and then we'll do the other shelves to cleaning products i think i think that'll be cool she always streams late because if it's nine for me it's six for her gotcha i understand yeah um and then we'll put the we'll put the 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 cleaning products on the other side um yeah staggering trying to like find people to to like raid at the right times and stuff also it's funny because i go live when a lot of the people that i follow personally go live so it'll be funny because i'll be getting ready to um i'll be get, getting ready to stream and my phone will be like blah 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 size going live blah 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 ben's going live blah 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 amelie's going live and i'm like oh god so just kind of have to line it up you know okay uh 606 that's 625 she lives near Cali, so she doesn't get off of work until late. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, I feel like there's either, oh, $15? Dang. I, toilet paper's expensive. $15 for, I would guess, do we pay $15 for toilet paper? Okay, but that's a roll of, well, four, that's a roll of eight. I don't think I pay $15 for toilet paper. <laughs> this game is too accurate. Yeah, for real. I get like nicer toilet paper. I don't get it. I think it's cheaper than 15 for a pack of 12. TP is expensive. It's kind of annoying. I am someday I will own my own home and then I can own a bidet and no one can stop me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm so envious of Europe having bidets i know it's such a weird thing in america but like it apparently saves just a crazy amount of money on toilet paper to have a bidet so okay cool all right i we got all this set up we're gonna put another row of shelves here this isn't gonna just be like just standalone we'll kind of we'll rearrange our shelves and stuff as we um and do more aisles and stuff as we expand um but i think for now that's probably what we're gonna stick with we do we will get more cleaning products hold on Oh. <laughs> that was held for maybe <laughs> that was held for uh for for terms looks like auto mod grabbed that but you know um oh my god that was hilarious um <laughs> yeah you'd rather not a stream of water uh, poke you in the butt personally yeah i feel that one um okay Let's see, we have, cause so yeah, I was gonna look at the other uh, licenses real quick before we left. So we're gonna do another cereal, Automod Setro baby. Um, sushi, crab stick, flour, gosh, it looks like, yeah. So we have more bleach and stuff and cleaners later, but dang, that's a long time from now, huh? That's fine. I mean, we'll see how quick we blaze through getting new product licenses, cause we honestly might get them faster than we expect, so. Okay, we have five bucks to our name. <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and save um, just so I don't forget. Um, but anyway, I think that's gonna be about it for tonight. Dinner's almost ready, so I'm gonna go grab that. Um, <laughs> so 
<laughs> but thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Um, we will be back on Wednesday with more Palea. Um, we're just going to keep playing more with the update and stuff. We have a ton of quests and stuff to get through. Um, and like some cool deck decor and stuff to put up. We just, and obviously... I think we plushy hunted for like three streams at this point and haven't gotten a single one. And I'm starting to get a little bit salty about that. <laughs> like, give me a plushy. I've been working so hard for one. So we'll do our standard plushy hunt at the end of stream and stuff. We'll be back with Palea uh, on Wednesday, uh, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so that will be uh, for that. Um, and uh, as always, if you have missed any of the streams or you wanted to see part of a stream that you missed, like the middle part of, um, I do have a re-upload channel on YouTube. Um, I put all of these streams by game into playlists that way you can find them easily um so that is uh, there for you for that also i do stream on both twitch and youtube so whichever platform you prefer i do have streams on both so you know you got <laughs> yeah pick your poison um also uh, please check out the instagram um, I do post our stream schedule there every week on Instagram, as well as some funny gaming reels uh, and stuff over there too. Um, reels about Jeb <laughs> and all of Jeb's wonder um, and stuff like that. So um, that's, that is, that is there for that as well. But I think that's going to be about it. Um, I'm going to go get some fish. Um, thank you everyone. Let me see if I can find somebody to raid. Oh, and let me, um, before I end stream, let me see if I can find, um, it was B-A-M-B-I-P, right? I'll see if I can find her and follow her real quick. Um, just so that I can... Oh, God, my own stream's playing in my ear. Don't do that. Eh, gross. Um, <laughs> based... Oh, God. Um, I thought I just highlighted the dang... The thing, but it's fine. Um, hold on. B-A-M-B-I-P, was it? Um, or B-I-P-B? Hold on, sorry. I'm trying to get the name of that uh, person you wanted me to raid at some point. Um, here, let me. I highlighted it wrong. I was trying to copy paste and I, I played myself. Okay, um, there we go. Perfect. Yes, I will follow her. Um, just so that whenever she's live, I can I can see her and everything. Um, but let's find someone to raid for now. Um, let me see. Raid. Oh, looks like looks like Cozy Cyclenda is always playing uh, right about the time that we're playing. So we'll raid into her, and and she's playing Dreamlight, so that should be another good cozy game to 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 to, to do with. But anyway, Gamer Niche, hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. Also, thanks to Silver. I know they're already out, but thanks for Silver and um, uh, Silver and uh, Amina and uh, Sand Ninja being there, making sure that we are uh, paying attention to the dawn. But um, I hope you have a lovely uh, rest of your evening, Gamer Niche, as well as everybody else in the chat. And we're gonna go. Ahead and raid so i will see you guys on wednesday bye guys